pair from Monte badge here? Because the Urus S and the Performante has 16 more horsepower in compare to the previous Urus. You have the rally mode that's only for the Performante. YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to a fresh new Inside Series live here in France in Courcheville. I'm together here with Lamborghini to present you and to show you the brand new 2023 Lamborghini Urus Performante. So for 2023 Lamborghini get two new models, the Urus S and this, the Urus Performante. And the Performante is what the name is saying, it's the most hardcore one. We got a lot of technical changes, optical, on the exterior we got a lot, on the interior just some minor changes. But um, I drove this downwards, downhill, together with the Instructor Max. And you can feel that this semi-active suspension is harder, that it's lower than the regular Urus, the previous one and the S. So yeah, if you're the driver, you want to have the Performante. Let's get started. If you're here for the first time, please tap the subscribe button and the bell notification. And that way you won't miss any of my new videos. Lamborghini Urus Performante, the 2023 model guys, in red. So first of what do we see? We see on the hood, carbon fiber. Look at this, so we got an exposed section of the carbon fiber of the Performante hood. Also here with the air exit, which you can recognize instantly. Also, this is in carbon fiber with the red. So very aggressive on the front. What's more going on? Well, we still got these awesome air channels. Some minor upgrades here as well. Gloss black combined with the carbon fiber front splitter. She's a bit dirty from drive downwards. Italian plate, of course, because we're talking about a Italian official press car. Of course, still the big sensor in the front. And look at all these layers. There's still a lot of going on here on the whole Performante look. Still that aggressive LED lights. God, I love these lights. Lamborghini Technica LED branded. Okay, and if we continue to the wheels, what do we see? Well, we got gloss black wheels, of course, carbon ceramic brakes, and the huge pistons, 10 pistons if I'm right. And we got winter wheels, of course. Carbon fiber here on the trim on the outside of the wheel arch. Here we got your Italian flag, carbon fiber mirror caps as well. And the whole side skirt of the Urus is also in carbon fiber with your Performante badge here. We've got privacy glass for this one, black window trims. And then under here, yep, you got a tiny but perfectly specced top wing here. This is very, I love this wing. Details also with the screws here, giving it a more aggressive look. Then on the rear wheels, of course, the nice gloss wheels. Carbon ceramic brakes again. Okay. Well, yeah, the rear of a Euros is is uh, very serious, very brutal. And still with the Performante, it's uh, even a bit more brutal. So, carbon fiber finishing here on the side of the wing. This is gloss black, by the way. Carbon fiber trunk lip. Carbon fiber center finishing between the LED rear lights. And then carbon fiber again on the whole rear diffuser, which is separated in two parts. That's very cool. Five, four, three. And this one does have the Akrapovich branded in collaboration with Lamborghini titanium exhaust system. Let's instantly get started with the trunk space. So yeah, SUV, we got a lot of trunk space. Nice Alcantara finish with the red stitching. Yeah, look at this foil, so fresh. Let's have a look at the engine bay. Because the Urus S and the Performante has 16 more horsepower in compare to the previous Urus. Here we go. Wow, that's a light hood, look at this. Full carbon fiber and Wow, this is a nice finishing Lambo. We got a very nice engine cover in full carbon fiber as well. V8 
turbo compresso. Compresso. <laughs> nice Italian flag colors here as well. So again guys, on the Performante you don't have an active air suspension, it's semi-active. She's fixed lowered, fixed suspension for more directness on the road while driving. Okay, it's time to have a look inside, let's close this beast. Oh, I love this. Ooh. Cherry gameplay, here we go. For this red Perfomante spec, doors, a lot of Alcantara. Satin carbon, satin black aluminium, gloss black, red door handles. And then down here again, red leather combined with Alcantara. And look at this for the first time. Black finished Bang & Olesse. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Bang & Olesse. Yep, door seals double layered. We got satin black and carbon fiber and satin as well, Lamborghini LED branded. Get the nice finishing of the seats. I think these are new seats as well. Performante branded. That nice font. Of course, full electric adjustable. And look at the housing, the finishing of the seats. Not in plastic, guys, but in Alcantara. Okay, entry test. Euros Performante. It's your SUV. So the entry is very, very chill. Welcome inside. Inside the Euros Performante, this is your point of view. We got some tiny updates, some tiny finishings. There's just some more perfect detailing. Press light switches. And we got the first left vent all housed in satin carbon. Just like the housing of the digital cockpit here in front. Also in that nice carbon fiber. Going all the way to the center console to the passenger. And here the logo now is in satin black. Also, this trim is satin black, satin carbon. So this spec got a lot of satin finishing. Also, this here, the protection and the separation of the buttons of the center console, also in satin. Even here on the controls for your gearbox and your anima control button, also in satin. So this is all new for the new generation. And especially for the Performante, you have the rally mode that's only for the performante so you can see what's happening on the animation also you're gonna get a so if we go to strada there you go strada go to sport you go to corsa you see a track and then we go to rally so that's pretty cool they've added a rally mode button steering wheel full of course Alcantara, very nice. Shift down, shift up. Now also in satin black, so we got a lot of satin here. Over indicator in gloss red. So this is in satin black. I actually love this satin black finishing everywhere. And the new seats, Alcantara with red leather and also with black leather. Seats, perfectly fixed. Comfortable and sporty at the same time. Armrest pretty good as well. Height is nice. Alcantara, enough space. Wireless charging pad. And yeah, well yeah, that's your interior gameplay on the new Performante. It's time to start this up. I'm gonna start her up in Strada mode. Then I'm gonna change to Corsa and Rally mode. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the sub button for more content. Check out my Instagram, and I'll see you definitely on the next video. Ciao.